All right, as I mentioned in the introduction video, there are three things you'll need for this course, a computer with an internet connection, a web hosting account to install WordPress, and the resources folder that you should have already downloaded. I've got a plain vanilla WordPress site at wc.demosandtips.com. As you can see, it's just the plain vanilla using the 2018 theme. I will say that you can do this course locally, but later on there'll be some things you just can't do because your WooCommerce site will need to connect to the internet. So as you can see, I've done absolutely nothing here except install WordPress. All right. Well, installing WooCommerce is pretty much the same as any other plugin. I'm going to click on plugins. And you'll remember in the last video, I actually downloaded the plugin. You can do it in one of two ways. I'm going to click add new. And at this point, I can either upload or just search for it. So I'm just going to go ahead and search for it and you'll see WooCommerce. You'll also see a bunch of plugins that will come with WooCommerce, and we'll install a couple of those as we go. I'm going to click Install Now, and click Activate. Now, if you've been around WordPress for any length of time, you know, well, that's just about it. WordPress makes it incredibly easy to install plugins and enhance your website. All right, so we have a couple of things to go through right away. I'm in the United States, so I'm going to choose US and then I actually live in Indiana, just outside of Cincinnati, Ohio. I'm going to put my address in here. Of course, I'm going to have the US dollar. I'm going to leave it set at both. I'm going to allow WooCommerce to collect non-sensitive diagnostic data and usage information. Now, this is completely right up to you, but frankly, it's always helpful when they can get that kind of information to make sure the plugin is working properly. Click Let's Go. The next screen is all about payment options. Now I'm going to use Stripe because I have an account at Stripe. I don't need to create a new account, but if you don't have an account at Stripe, go ahead and click that button and it's going to ask for an email address. I'm going to turn off Square because I don't need it and I'll leave PayPal just because some people really like PayPal. Click Continue. Now again, because I'm in the United States, I can use the live rates once I've installed Jetpack. And so I'm going to leave that turned on and we'll install Jetpack in a little bit. Ounces and inches, of course. Again, if you're living outside the United States, that's going to be a little bit different. Now, if you're not in the United States, you won't be able to use live rates. Go ahead and choose flat rate, and then you can enter your own flat rates later on. I'm going to click continue. And here are some recommended extras. So I have the 2017 theme turned on and it knows that I'm going to tell it to go ahead and use storefront because that's the official free WooCommerce theme. Again, there are tons of excellent themes that work with WooCommerce and you can see some of those at WooThemes.com. Automated taxes powered by WooCommerce. Or this is just huge. I'm going to suggest that you use this because quite frankly, messing with taxes is such a pain. If you're in the United States, this is a no-brainer. If you're not in the United States, well, then you will probably want to learn more about WooCommerce services here just to double check how that works for your country. Click Continue. And because I'm using live rates, I have to use Jetpack. So I'm going to continue with Jetpack. And of course, there's just a bunch of reasons you want to use Jetpack. It's one of the most used plugins for WordPress out there today. Highly recommend it. You use it with your WooCommerce store. And all right, it's authorizing my connection. And congratulations, you're ready to start selling. I highly recommend again, go ahead and sign up for the WooCommerce newsletter. And you'll see that I'm already done that. And now I'm ready to create my first product. Congratulations, you've installed and configured WooCommerce as far as you need to go in order to start selling anything. You can watch the guided tours. You can learn more about getting started. You can import products if you have a CSV file, or you can just return to your dashboard. In the next video, we'll make a couple of adjustments to the site as well as set up our first product.